Hi, it's Amy with Mama Bear Blue. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified when I have new videos uploading. Before we get started, I'll let you know that this video is part of a collaboration called Summer Vibes with some of my friends in the Creative Business Coaching Group by Jamie and Zeb Ray. Be sure to click the link in the description box below to watch all of those great videos. Today I have a really fun project taking some plain glass jars and giving them a little makeover with some salt wash, some beachy colors, some iron orca designs, seashell molds made with resin, as well as making our own decoupage paper. Let's get started. First we will mix up our salt wash. Salt wash is a paint additive that comes in a powdered form. You can add it to any type of paint to create a variety of faux effects. Today we're going to create sea glass. For the sea glass effect you use two parts warm water to one part salt wash and then add in your paint. Here I used four ounces of warm water, two ounces of salt wash, and about a half an ounce each of the colors sea glass and prom queen by DIY paint. Here I'm just using a plastic fork to mix it up well. Then I transferred it into a clean spray bottle. I also went ahead and mixed up one more color, mint chip by DIY paint. I then misted the entire jar with the blue color. Don't worry about all the drip lines and marks, that actually adds to the sea glass effect. I gave it a quick dry with the heat gun and then repeated the process with the mint chip color. For the next step, I'm using the Iron Orchid Designs seashell mold and amazing casting resin. The resin comes in two parts, part A and part B. You pour equal amounts into the small cups, then combine them into a larger cup and stir. The mixture will get cloudy and after about 30 seconds it will turn clear and that's when you know it's ready to pour. You should wear plastic gloves on this part if you have sensitive skin. After about 10 minutes these will turn white and harden up and they will be ready to remove. While those are drying we can move on to making our own decoupage paper. Here I'm using the Iron Orca Designs letterpress stamp. Iron Orca Designs also sells these thin mounts that make it very easy to apply stamps to your project. I cut a small piece out because I was just using a smaller font and a short word. I'm using the word relax because I'd like to make some decoupage paper to put onto one of the jars, as you'll see in a second. I arrange the stamps in order on the thin mount and then ink them up with the Iron Orca Designs black ink. This is just regular white tissue paper. Next I used DIY's liquid patina which also acts as a decoupage medium. I applied a light coat and then put on the tissue paper, working the wrinkles out from the center out to the edge. and then sealed with one more coat of the liquid patina. If you wanted to stamp directly onto the salt wash glass, you could do that. I just find it difficult sometimes to stamp on curved surfaces, so I like this technique instead. Next, it was time to work on the decorative molds. So I chose several beachy colors by DIY Paint, including Sandy Blonde, Faded Burlap, Mint Chip, Sea Glass, and Prom Queen. Gave them a quick dry with the heat gun and here I'm adding DIY Paint's Golden Rule Wax it's just to some of the high spots. On some of these finished molds I used a small drill bit and drilled holes into them. I wanted to be able to attach this jute string to be able to tie onto some of the jars. Here I'm just painting the jar lid that's going to have a mold glued on top of it. Use some hot glue and adhered it to the top and then use a little bit of paint to touch up around the edges to cover some of that glue that was coming out. I put a coat of the liquid patina onto the entire jar and a little bit of the gold wax. 
For the jars with the word relax, I plan on filling these with bath salts and giving them as gifts. The other ones will make great decor for your summer tablescapes. This one I actually bought a little light up string of lights that comes with a little plastic cork on top. Battery operated, you can turn it on and it lights up the whole jar and it just looks so pretty. If you're interested in purchasing these lights, I will leave my Amazon affiliate link in the description box below, along with all of the other links to my website for the products I used in today's video. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and comment below. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.